Today we're going to design a logo using great vector tool called Affinity Designer. Alright, here I am in the new blank document. So let's pick a color first using the slider on the right side of the screen. Now we are ready to pick a shape. Here it is, we will need to modify numbers of sides to 6. You can use the slider, you can also type it from the keyboard. Here it is. So far so good, let's position this shape exactly in the middle and use round corner tool now. Let's round corners, but just a little bit, like this. Perfect, I will bake this appearance and duplicate this whole shape. Right click on the layer, duplicate. Now I can resize the copy. Let me change the color so you can see it. The copy is right here. I will select both shapes next so we can cut out a hole in this bigger shape. Over here, subtract. And we got a hole in the bigger shape right now. That's a perfect start. Now it's time to use pen tool. So I'm going to use pen tool like this. Keep in mind, if you click, you will get a straight line. So you need to click and hold it down so you can create a curve. All right, something like this will do. Now I will modify this curve just a little bit. Keep in mind, you don't need to draw it perfect in the first try, then you can modify the curve like this with the node tool. All right, I'm going to duplicate the whole thing. Let's move it to the left first, so I got space and duplicate the whole thing like this. And now I will intersect, so I will keep only this, this part. That's what I need. I can get rid of this one now and use the new one. Perfect. Let's move it back to the center. I can zoom in again. And here's what I need. Now I can modify this uh, side of this new shape like this to cover the center. All right, so I think we are ready to duplicate this element. So I'll just simply copy and paste, Command C, Command V. Now rotation using the move tool. Alright, it's not snapping well here, so let me just zoom in for a moment. Okay, better. And we will need one more copy. So again, Command C, Command V, and over here. Alright, we got a basic shape for our logo. Now we can modify colors. So let me select everything here. I will use gradient tool right now. Start gradient from here. Radial gradient and now we can modify colors. A little bit of noise for texture. All right, I think something like this will look interesting. And of course, I need to modify the color of the main shape. So we got contrast, so just a moment, let me select the main shape again. And I will change the gradient for this guy. So we don't need very bright color here, we need something darker. Alright, and here's our logo. We can group all layers together, so it will be easier to move the whole logo like this. 
we got four layers, four elements for this little project. Keep in mind, you can remix and modify this logo. You can change the numbers of extra shapes you got there. You can modify colors. You can use the knot tool to modify the curve or add additional gloves and shadows. So feel free to remix and experiment with this logo, all right? I'm going to do a little experiment myself. So let's ungroup this whole thing. I will modify the colors now for my logo. So I got three main colors and then the back color. I like this. See, it looks totally different right now. We can, of course, still use gradient. This time we'll use gradient tool separately. Before I used this on all shapes at the same time. Now I got different colors, so I need to use it one by one. And maybe here, I like this. Of course, you can delete and modify some elements. So let's take a look how it will look like without this yellow pink on the left. Click on it, move it away or hit delete and you got a little bit different logo. So feel free to experiment and remix this design. For more Affinity content, for Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I will see you in my next tutorial.